Diddy lawyer has been noted that he is quitting. He is quitting. He don't want anything to do with Diddy. Now, this is going to make the second lawyer that stood behind Diddy. Eight that celebrities at Diddy Freakoffs or parties, and that six were males, two were females. The drive also included a manuscript of an alleged Kim Porter memoir, a memoir that her four kids insist is fake. Courtney Burgess told his story on a having intimate relations with Sean Combs. How many of them appear to be either inebriated or intoxicated or into the influence? All of them. All of them. Out of those eight, how many appear to be potentially victimized? How many might have been victimizing? I think um, all, to be honest, all. We're, we're Just when we thought Diddy's roller coaster of drama had reached its peak, this latest twist pulled us in even deeper into waters darker and murkier than anyone imagined. This isn't just another headline either. His own lawyer just walked out, a bombshell move following new revelations tied to Kim Porter, and it feels like the last domino has tipped, pushing Diddy's world closer to unraveling. So let's break it down. What's really going on behind those courtroom walls? Courtney Burgess, a longtime friend of Kim Porter, recently took the stand, adding a whole new layer of tension to Diddy's legal mess. Victims at Diddy Freakoffs or parties, and that six were males, two were females. The drive also included a manuscript of an alleged Kim Porter memoir, a memoir that her four kids insist is fake. Courtney Burgess told his story on a podcast. Do I think, yeah. <laughs> There's no every man possibly is capable. I do. I think he's very capable of doing it. It's in his character. That's who he is. That's what comes with power. That's what comes with arrogance. That's that's what comes with, you know, what makes him, you know, um, power. That's just the selfishness to make you be like that, you know. But that what he revealed took the courtroom by storm, holding on to flash drives Kim had personally entrusted to him. Burgess claims he's sitting on evidence that could wreck Diddy's entire image. These drives, he says, are packed with damning documents, videos, and even a chillingly titled manuscript from Kim herself. Kim's Lost Words, a journey for justice from the other side. And if his allegations hold up, these files don't just threaten to expose secrets about Diddy, they could drag down some of Hollywood's biggest names too. Burgess didn't hold back, alleging that these videos feature well-known celebrities caught in compromising situations, unaware they were even being filmed. And the darkest part? Burgess claims that some of the people on these tapes were underage. If these recordings are authentic, the fallout could send shockwaves across Hollywood and bring careers crashing down. Kim and Diddy's relationship spanned years. They shared three children and a bond that was equal parts love and turmoil. When Kim passed away in 2018, the coroner labeled it as natural causes, but people close to her were never fully convinced. Now, Burgess's flash drives hint at something darker. According to him, Kim had started documenting things years before her passing, growing increasingly fearful for her own safety. She reportedly asked him to go public with the information if anything happened to her. It's eerie, almost like Kim foresaw this moment and tried to leave breadcrumbs. Then there's the alleged manuscript, one that briefly surfaced online, but was quickly taken down, that dives deep into her relationship with Diddy and hints at abusive patterns. While Kim's friend, Leanda Lane, insists Kim never planned to publish anything, Burgess maintains that the manuscript exists, setting up a clash that could complicate everything as this case unfolds. Inside the courtroom, the stakes are rising. Federal prosecutors, recognizing the incendiary nature of these tapes, have requested a gag order to keep leaks in check, aiming to protect the integrity of the trial. Meanwhile, Diddy's defense team is feeling the heat. His lead attorney, Mark Agnafilo, just resigned, reportedly blindsided by the mountain of evidence Burgess is bringing to light. With Agnifilo out, Diddy's remaining legal team is scrambling to find a way to counter these explosive claims as the May 2025 trial looms closer. It's not just the courtroom that's on edge, either. The public is glued to every new detail, 
social media blowing up with theories and debates about what really happened. In the wake of Hat Me Too, this case has stirred up even bigger conversations about power, accountability, and the hidden lives of Hollywood's elite. For years, whispers about Diddy's infamous parties and tight grip on those around him have floated around. But now, those rumors are starting to take shape in ways few expected. If the tapes and manuscript make it into court, they might reveal a hidden culture of manipulation and control that has long stayed in the shadows. And as his team scrambles to keep the defense intact, each revelation is like a ticking time bomb, bringing Diddy closer to the edge. For a lot of fans, reconciling the Diddy they knew with these grim allegations is a hard pill to swallow. People who've been in Diddy's world are watching with a mix of shock and resignation. Kim Porter, Cassie Ventura, and now Courtney Burgess all paint a picture of a man who wielded his power ruthlessly. The detectives did not even view the body in the bed where she died at. That the coroner them had already removed her, pronounced her dead, and told the detectives them that it was no foul play. And if that is true, as I've heard it, and we've read certain things on the internet about it, that case needs to be reopened. We know that Kim, and it's in the doc, this is in the documentation, shout out to paperwork, at the paperwork part. I That's Kim's story. That's Kim's book. That's Kim's book. Then you hear about the fact that he, he broke Kim's nose on a yacht? Wow, I ain't hear about that. He broke him. Uh, oh, let's let's say allegedly, but it was told by people in her camp that he broke Kim's nose on a yacht. So Cassie's story is Cassie's story is Kim's story. Cassie's book is Kim's book. Without remorse, but with each new layer peeled back it feels like Diddy's influence is waning, and the empire he built may be on the verge of collapse. The closer we get to trial, the clearer it becomes. This isn't just about one man's fall from grace. Diddy's empire, built on power moves and an air of invincibility, is now surrounded by cracks, and those walls seem ready to give way at any moment. Having intimate relations with Sean Combs, how many of them appear to be either inebriated or intoxicated or into the influence all of them. them all of them out of those eight how many appear to be potentially victimized how many might have been victimizing i think um all to be honest all were were victim the weight of these allegations isn't just pushing diddy to the edge it's shaking up hollywood itself if the tapes and manuscripts see the light of day, it could force the industry to confront the very culture it's tried to keep hidden. Beyond Diddy's personal struggles, this case is casting a harsh spotlight on the entertainment world's dark underbelly. For years, people have whispered about Hollywood's power plays, but those rumors always seemed like distant echoes, tales we couldn't quite confirm. Now with every new revelation, it's like those whispers are becoming shouts demanding to be heard. The big question is no longer just about Diddy's fate, it's about who else might get pulled down with him. The trial could end up being the spark that ignites a full-blown reckoning in Hollywood. For an industry that's often skirted accountability, this could be a watershed moment, one that forces some of the biggest names to face the music. And as fans, as people who've admired these stars from afar, we're left asking ourselves how much we really know about the icons we've idolized. Diddy's team is scrambling, trying to pull together a defense, but with each passing day, it seems like his control is slipping. His influence, once unshakable, is starting to crumble under the weight of all evidence and public outrage. As the May 2025 trial date approaches, it's clear that whatever comes next won't just impact Diddy. It could reshape Hollywood's landscape for years to come. Right now, we're all waiting, watching, and wondering. Could this be the beginning of the end for a culture that's thrived on secrecy, manipulation, and unchecked power? 
Or will Hollywood's powerful elite manage to close ranks and weather the storm once again? The answers lie behind those courtroom doors. And as the case unfolds, one thing's certain. The truth won't stay hidden forever. The stage is set for a showdown that could finally pull back the curtain on Hollywood's darkest corners, leaving all of us to question what lies beneath the glitz and glamour. This case, though, is no longer just about Diddy. It's sparking a bigger conversation about Hollywood's hidden darkness. If these tapes get out, the fallout could reshape how we see some of the industry's most revered figures. With the trial approaching, it seems like we're inching toward answers not just about Diddy, but about the whispers and secrets that have haunted Hollywood for decades. As the clock ticks down, Diddy's options are narrowing. His career, his legacy, and maybe even his freedom are hanging in the balance. Hollywood's walls are closing in on him, and as each revelation surfaces, it's hard not to wonder just how much more could come to light, and what impact that could have on an industry that has thrived on secrets for too long.